We started the next morning with good intentions to give Val as much time as she needed. But when she began looking up the same definitions for the 50th time, Headley was ready to jump out the window. Except it was locked. I'm not sure if perjury has a different meaning if it isn't in a court of law. It's a legal term. It means lying. I'm not convinced he didn't want to tell the truth, and I'd like to ask the judge... Oh, you mean he didn't knowingly tell a lie? If someone had been a politician and had been used to, well, they're not, they're not lies exactly. They're more like um, deviations or something like that. Then it might be very hard for him to tell the truth. So if he's a practised liar, we let him off. You keep away from me. You're a bully. What do I do? You don't think a politician could tell the truth? You're too young, mate. Oh, well, Kevin, look, you're his foreman. You tell him what the point is. I lost the point. You see, I think the point is that you don't seem to want to look at the evidence. I have. Oh, yes, you have, you have. You go through all your notes and all the evidence, but your eyes are shut the whole time. I am trying to understand why you think he's done something wrong. Doesn't matter what I think. That's exactly right. I would never say that to your face, though. Say that again. Oh, hang on, hang on. We're just going around in bloody circles. Uh, all I ask for is the proof. All you give me is your opinion. Oh, no. I'm going to get some peace. Lucky old you. I beg your pardon. I'm not a Joe man, but I think... Yeah, you, you, you tell me what you think, Luke. You just tell me one more time why you think all these dates and all these events are pure bloody coincidence. Well, actually, I don't feel like it right now, Headley. Think you feel like telling the judge we've had it, pal? No, because we haven't. <laughs> We'd had it all right, but Luke wouldn't accept it. What was obvious to the majority of us was lost on him. But he was our official spokesman, and so long as he wanted to keep going, we were trapped. With nothing to do but kill time, while Penny struggled on with Val regardless. Was he actually in business in Queensland at that time? And Sir Joe said, no. Not that I know of, no. Do you see? Close. I don't understand. There are just so many things to remember. No, I wouldn't take too much notice of that. We are trying to work through this ourselves. I'm just trying to help. No, you're not. Go away. OK. There were five or six meetings. Yeah. Oh. The really important ones. The ones where Sung tried to push through the hotel. Everything that Penny says is just, well, I right, just take it with a grain of salt. You just can make up your own mind. Just shut up, Luke! Just shut up! Hey, look, we're getting nowhere here. Obviously, we're not going to reach a verdict. I agree. What are we going to do? Tell the judge we're a hung jury. Val hasn't made up a mind. Is that true, Val? There are a few things I'm still going over in my mind. We're not a hung jury if people are still going over things. There is a man's life in our hands. Yeah, mine's slipping away. Like sands through the elbow. <laughs> I don't think that's funny. You're a cheeky boy. I don't know if you're interested. I work for the Criminal Justice Commission, and I've got a mate who tells me that one of your jurors is in the Young Nationals. Not only that, he was an office bearer. Young Nationals? Really? Yeah. Hello? Mr. Eddy. Yeah? Robert Needham, Special Prosecutor's Office. We've just learned that you have some information about one of the jurors on Sir Joe's trial. I... I don't want to cause any trouble. You won't be causing any trouble. Uh, can you tell me how you came by your information? A friend in the National Party. Can you tell me their name? Alison Mooney. If I send a car, would you come in? I don't know. Answer? I don't know if I can do that. Do you know the juror personally? Yeah, I've met him a few times. I understand he's been a branch secretary. 
Oh, yeah. He's a real Joe man. I'd like to ask the judge another question. Jeez. Look, I think Val should be able to ask the judge whatever she likes if it's going to help her make up her mind. I want to know that if you've spent your life not telling all the truth... But Val, we decide, not the judge. That's how the system works. We represent the people of Queensland. How would you know? You're a foreigner. Nasty, nasty. Look! You're not going into that courtroom until you've written it down on a piece of paper so the bloke down the end there at the table can read it out without making a muck of it. It's not easy to find the right words. You can't ask the judge what he thinks of the evidence. Why not? That's what he's there for! Yes, but he can only tell us how to look at the evidence. But you want to ask him if he thinks Joe's guilty? Not exactly. Yes, exactly. That's what you want to ask him. What do you think? Come to a decision by myself, Val. I don't want to be on my own. Please, Luke. But I thought we were together. I, I thought... have to make up my own mind. Of course you do. That's what I've been telling well, all I the others. I think he's guilty, that's all. You can't oh. say that, Val. Don't you think it... None of you have rationally sorted through all this. How can you come to that decision? Are you listening to me? Me? Val, that's just not true. You've already made up your mind because you're a communist trade unionist. You say that about me and not soon. You're all mentally unstable, sick. You need psychiatric treatment. Oh, Val, come off. You it. say that and I'll I don't you. care what you say. You can't be mentally stable. You say that about me. You mention my name like that and I'll sue you. You hear that woman? I'll sue you. I'll sue you. The longer it went on, the sillier it became. We couldn't keep pretending that Val just needed a bit more time. It was obvious where she stood. But as for Luke, he wasn't giving anything away. And the harder we tried to understand, the less it made sense. You realise we don't have a lot of time. If that jury makes a decision, it'll be too late and there won't be a thing we can do about him. When did you join the National Party? The late 88 or 89, I can't remember them. I'm not financial at the moment. And how long have you known Luke Shaw? He was the secretary or something when I joined. Do you know him well? Oh, I'd seen him at meetings, he gave me a lift home once, that sort of thing. He's a gung-ho supporter for Joe. What do you mean by that? Oh, he talked about making ground against the socialists at university, that sort of stuff. He talked about the friends of Joe a bit. There was a meeting being organised and uh, people had to ring him if they wanted to be in it. 